Hello, today we're here with Chairman of Renew out of Singapore, Mr. Manoj Pargav. Um, he's a wonderful gentleman here and has joined us today to talk about many endeavors he has, especially with regard to healthcare. Um, hello, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us, Mr. Pargav. Thank you. As an interventional cardiologist, I uh, am passionate about ECP therapy, but many people don't know about it. Will you tell us a little bit about it for our audience? Uh, history is of what we call the Renew product, which is uh, ECP, is that it was invented at Harvard, I think, 30, 40 years ago. And it was for obstruction in the arteries. And what happened is the FDA approved it, and then it went to Medicare, and the fellows at Medicare decided that, well, instead of, you know, just doing it for everybody in terms of a a first procedure, because it's 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 you know it's not invasive, it's very safe. They decided, well, you know, those fellows that can't have surgery, they're so weak that can't have surgery. We're just going to push it over to them. And once that was decided at Medicare, the rest of the medical community just followed that. The studies have been done, found out that the we this weakest population, um, five years later was doing better than the fellows that got stents. So there's a tremendous amount of clinical data. And uh, people are probably wondering, well, what is ECP? What does that stand for? External counterpulsation. So the mechanism of external counterpulsation is really what makes the difference, isn't it? Uh, than simple massage therapy or simple therapy for deep venous thrombosis, uh, sequential compression. This device is different because it is timed toward the cardiac cycle. What I understand is this, that uh, enhanced circulation is going to help you. That's that, correct. I don't, I'm not a doctor, so that part I get, that if you water a plant, the chances are it'll do better than if you don't water one, <laughs> you know, in That's the same right. way as enhanced circulation, I assume. And so the rest of everything, you know, in terms of the mechanisms and how things work, that is in the literature everywhere. So isn't it fabulous that a great entrepreneur can understand this physiology to the point where it can be taken you know, to the masses of people? I think worldwide people should be able to have this wonderful therapy that can improve their coronary circulation. I've talked to some of the top guys in the world um, uh, you know, in research, and the interesting thing is there's one thing in common with all the top guys. They look at it when I point out what it is. They're saying, of course, it's obvious. I met a guy who was one of the top guys in wellness. And so I said to him, let me understand wellness. So it's basically you tell people, eat less, exercise more, and don't smoke. Is that pretty much it? <laughs> he looks at me for a second. He says, pretty much. Uh, so I said, you know, now we have this first time we ever, we have a device that actually will do wellness. Mm -hmm. And he'd gone through it, and he said, you're right. And so the top guys, it takes them about two minutes to figure out that it's really obvious. And peripheral vascular disease is a huge um, problem, especially uh, in our population or in the Western world, um, with, with smoking being such a problem and causing peripheral vascular disease. Right. And now entering the East, probably, it, it's a problem worldwide. And right. so uh, such a benefit to increase uh, small vessel flow. It's one of those things which is so basic that why would you not do it? That's right. It's non-invasive. I mean, we have data from 75, 80-year-olds for the last 25 years showing it's, that it doesn't harm anyone. As a potential patient, I would say that if somebody says, would you like surgery or would you prefer something else, I'd say, wait a minute, <laughs> isn't surgery supposed to be the last thing you do? To me, it's, you've got pipes, right? If one pipe is clogged, you put a stent in. If one pipe is clogged, though, the chances are the rest of the pipes aren't doing so well. That's correct. Right? So wouldn't you want to do something that affects all of the pipes? How do you think that we can educate the population worldwide about external counterpulsation? The cardiologists are the gatekeepers right now because it is a, FDA approved it for angina. Once they start using it for angina. Then they find out, oh my God, there's a lot of other things that are getting better. Right? And then they're, they're sort of trained to say, oh, I, I want to do this again. And worldwide, 
are you able to make a change in people's lives now uh, with this, with your device? Actually, it's going to go much faster outside the United States um, because there's a lot of legacy here. In other words, we do this this way, and that's how we're going to do it. Whereas in other countries, they're looking at saying, okay, but how can we do it more comfortably, less expensive? Uh, how can we overall get the healthcare costs down? One fellow described it, healthcare, really right on the nose. To me, it was, it was the perfect definition. It is the delay of onset of disease is healthcare. I'm honored to have uh, been able to talk to you today. Thank you for joining us. It was my pleasure. Thank you.